Mario Andretti being chased by Danny Sullivan. Sullivan darts out, pulls alongside Mario Andretti. It's a drag race down the main stretch. Can Sullivan pull Andretti into the first turn, Ron Carroll? Danny Sullivan gets him. Danny Sullivan gets him. Da no, he's squirreling. No, he's spinning. Danny Sullivan spins, but he goes around twice and gathers it in. Absolutely in incredible. Danny Sullivan spun in front of Mario Andretti, gathered the car back up and continues on, and Sullivan only fell back to second place. Larry Henry, they're coming to you. Here comes the white flag. One lap to go for the 35-year-old who, at the point you make so well, Sam, he is known as the swinging bachelor of the circuit, but he has paid his dues. All yes. the menial jobs he had with 13 years of racing behind him. Yes, he has, but for all of the things that I hope and wish for Danny Sullivan, and I'm one of his greatest fans, this man, Mario Andretti, looks as if he's headed for defeat today on the day he said he had the best chance ever in his 20 years to win the Indianapolis 500. I feel incredibly for Mario to put so much work and so much hope into this and is coming up short just a few seconds worth. The old American hero will lose the race. The new American hero is Daniel John Sullivan III of Louisville, Kentucky, who has won the Indianapolis 500. Mario Andretti finishing second. Roger Penske, the crew chief, now is the time to celebrate. They didn't budge a muscle until he had crossed the start-finish line, that yard of brick, for the last time. Danny Sullivan headed for victory lane at Indianapolis. A moment he has to have dreamed about, thought about, planned for, but I would imagine, Sam, you're never quite ready for it. Jim, he gave up a promising career in Formula One just two years ago to take a chance on IndyCar racing, and this is where that chance led. And Danny, this race is likely to be remembered for the one remarkable moment with just a little more than 80 laps to go when you spun twice and came out of it. Your frame of mind after that, were you able to completely block that particular moment of danger out? Well, I looked at it this way, that the sun was shining on me. That, If I got away with that and was still in the race and was still in second place, somebody was looking after me. And I figured if we could do that and still come back, we, uh, we had a good shot at it. And I knew that I could uh, run with just about anybody, and uh, I knew I had to measure on Mario, so we were just looking for to stay out of trouble. And then when that happened at the restart with all those guys down there, and we got through that, I knew we were making it home.